My name is Kyle Dargan. I'm a cis man. I have uh, brown skin, uh, a half row, which is, I guess you would say, short curly hair. Um, I have on a gray shirt, and I am standing in my kitchen in Washington, D.C., because uh, I think the kitchen is the most important room in the home. Um, this next poem is uh, addressing police violence uh, as a content warning, and uh, it's titled Poem Resisting Arrest. Poem Resisting Arrest. This poem is guilty. It assumed it retained the right to ask its question after the page came up flush against its face. The purpose this poem serves is obvious, even to this poem, and that cannot stop the pen or the fist choking it. How the page tastes at times, unsalted powerlessness in this poem's mouth, a blend of that and what it has inhaled of the news. It spits blood, inking. It is its own doing and undoing. This poem is trying to hold itself together. It has the right to remain either bruised or silent, but it is a poem, so it hears. You'd be safer if you stopped acting like a poem. Stop resisting. Where is the daylight this poem asks and is thus crushed between existence and resistance, between the now bloody page and the poem? Another poem will record the arrest of this poem, decide what to excerpt. That poem will fail. It won't find the right metaphor for the pain of having to lift epigraphs from the closing words of poems that were accused of resisting. That poem is numb. This poem is becoming numb, already losing feeling in its cupped phrasing. No one will remember the nothing of which this poem was accused, just that it was another poem that bled. This poem never expected to be this poem, yet. It must be for you who will not acknowledge the question. This poem knew it was dangerous to ask why.